everyone, welcome to my channel again. Today, I am going to share about why does lean need Six Sigma. Before watch, please like comment and subscribe my channel. Your support will encourage me to produce more video related to Lean Six Sigma and operation management. For a long time, Lean and Six Sigma approaches were regarded as competing initiatives. Lean advocates noted that Six Sigma does not directly address speed, flow, and waste within processes. Six Sigma supporters pointed out that Lean approach is not capable of solving variation problems or process optimization issues. The logical answer to the dilemma is Lean Six Sigma, the combination of the two world-class approaches to organizational performance. For many corporations, Lean Six Sigma has become an effective operational strategy to be more responsive to changing customer needs. Deliver flawlessly on the promises made to the customer, and operate at world-class cost. Why does Lean need Six Sigma? More specifically, here are three reasons why Lean needs Six Sigma. 1. Lean does not explicitly prescribe the culture and infrastructure needed to achieve and sustain results. Most Lean resources are mute on the infrastructure needed to successfully implement lean initiatives, achieve, and sustain lean speed. It is true that many companies that have implemented lean have been driven to develop an infrastructure similar to that of Six Sigma, but they did it ad hoc rather than use the prescriptive structure contained in Six Sigma. Companies that only apply lean are sometimes unable to deploy it across the whole organization and sustain results because they lack the well-defined Six Sigma cultural infrastructure to generate senior management engagement, formalized training, secure dedicated resources, and so on. Thus the progress of Lean has been dependent on individual initiative. We have seen many successful Lean implementations regress when a new manager takes over. Six Sigma is less susceptible, though not immune to, this problem, it asserts that there is only one set of shareholders whose interests alone must be served. 2. Lean does incorporate some element of customer focus, but it is introspective in its approach. In requiring us to identify what is value added, in a process, Lean does incorporate some element of customer focus, but it is introspective in its approach. The person creating the value stream map makes the decision as to whether an activity is value add or not. In contrast, Six Sigma prescribes numerous places in improvement methods where the voices of customers and suppliers must be included. It uses customer critical to quality as a key metric and requires a means of capturing the VOC in the defined phase of DMAIC. Simply put, the customer is not front and center in Lean, yet is ever present in Six Sigma work. 3. Lean does not recognize the impact of variation. Lean does not possess the tools to reduce variation and bring a process under statistical control. Six Sigma views elimination of variation as key and provides a whole arsenal for attacking variation, from statistical process control to design of experiments. In other words, the speed and cost gains of Lean can be erased instantly by an increase in variation. Most descriptions of Lean methodologies dive into the improved phase, in DMAIC terminology, going right to solutions and jumping over define and measure. Without a prescribed defined step to understand how big the problem is, and a measure phase to quantify the size versus the resources, people have often bitten off more lean than they could chew, or lost themselves in a frenzy of lean improvement events. Variation has little effect on processes operating at low capacity. But most service organizations function at or near full capacity, and that's when variation has a major impact on how long the work, or a customer, has to wait, in queue. 
Customer-facing service processes often experience a lot of variation in demand because we have no control over when customers will contact us. The lesson. The larger the variation in input, the more excess capacity is needed. If there is either low variation or we can control demand in some way, which is more likely with internal processes, we can operate at a higher capacity without risking excessive delays. In summary, today, Lean and Six Sigma are the most popular business strategies for enabling continuous improvement in the manufacturing, service and public sectors. Continuous improvement is the main goal for any organization wishing to achieve quality and operational excellence and to enhance performance. Therefore, the integration of the two approaches improves efficiency and effectiveness and helps to achieve superior performance faster than the implementation of each approach in isolation. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe my channel. Bye, see you next time.